This is Cheryl Heckel and I'm coming to you from my daughter's playroom. Today we're going to be doing uh, part of my lesson plan which will include our book, uh, The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Today we're going to be looking at how a caterpillar gets from, or how an egg gets to be a butterfly. And here is my tissue little friend, my little very hungry caterpillar right here. Now, the way that I'm going to approach this with my classroom is that we're going to have our little friend here, the Very Hungry Caterpillar, right here. He's going to help us read this story. So here we go. This is where I would start with my classroom. Good morning, kids. This is, this is the Very Hungry Caterpillar, and today I'm going to tell you about my journey from, from being an egg to becoming a beautiful butterfly. So here, we're going to read part of The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Let's take a picture walk through the book first. Here we have a sunshine. What might we see on this page? What might we think that this might be. I think this might be an egg. That might start our journey. And look, here might be my little friend, the very hungry caterpillar right here. And he's going to get awfully hungry and eat through all of this fruit and all of these foods. Oh, he's going to be so hungry, aren't you, Mr. Mr. Caterpillar, yes, yes, we are so hungry. We are going to eat through the chocolate cake, the ice cream, the pickle, the cheese, the sausage, the sucker, the cherry pie, the hot dog, the cupcake, and the watermelon. Oh my, what might you think you might get if you ate through all of that yourself? Oh my goodness. The next day was Sunday and the caterpillar ate through the nice green leaf and after that he felt much better because he did have a belly ache from eating through all of that food but now and he's not a little caterpillar he is a great big fat caterpillar look at that and look now what is he going to do now that he's big and fat he's going to build a small house called a cocoon around himself and he stayed inside that for more than two weeks. Now I know I get pretty tired of being in the house if I was in the house two weeks. I think he might like it in there. It might be a cozy place for him to spend these cold December days. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon and oh my goodness what do you think we might find? What might he turn into after being in that cocoon for two weeks? Somebody should answer me. We have a beautiful butterfly. So let's review class. First, he started out as what? We had a little tiny, what is this? Egg. He started out as an egg. And then what might he have turned into? What do we think? What was next? A caterpillar, that's right. He turned into a caterpillar. And after that, he ate and ate and ate and ate and ate and became a great big fat caterpillar. But he's still a caterpillar. Nothing's changed except he grew. But then he built himself a house called a cocoon. And after he sat in his house for a while, he emerged as a beautiful butterfly. That is an absolutely gorgeous butterfly. Now, what you guys are going to do is everyone on their desks are going to have a plate similar like this. Let's see if I can get you guys to see this. We are going to have some pastini or quinoa. It's these little itty bitty, uh, almost seed-like. See, there's one on my, couple on my finger. Those are our eggs. And then we're going to have some macaroni. You can use a uh, curly pasta, whatever you have. And then we have a piece of a variegated uh, pop pipe cleaner that will be our cocoon. And then we have a little piece of paper that you guys can all decorate to make your own butterfly. Now, what I want you all to do is to take your paper plate and divide it into 
four sections. Okay, we're going to fold it in half. Open it back up, and then we're going to fold it in half one more time. Now, up on my imaginary chalkboard, we will have the words written out for you guys to all use. And I want you to write egg, I want you to write larva, or caterpillar, I'm sorry, let's start that over. I want you to write egg, caterpillar, cocoon, butterfly. One, two, three, four. And that's going to be our process of how an egg becomes a butterfly. Now, once you've written your four spots, which is written up on my imaginary chalkboard, you're going to take your eggs and you can draw a leaf on there if you like to. And then you're going to glue your leaf or your eggs onto your leaf. And then after that, what comes next? I hope everybody can answer me and tell me that a caterpillar comes next. So we're going to glue our macaroni on there. Then after that, next comes, that's right everybody, the cocoon. So we're going to glue our cocoon in that third spot on our paper plate. And then last but not least, we're going to take our beautiful butterfly and we are going to glue that in the fourth spot. And that will be our completed project of how an egg gets to 